We're here to promote cnsupdates.com, which is a website for medical professionals interested in neurology. Our latest masterclasses focuses on narcolepsy and restless leg syndrome. The courses are being presented as a virtual masterclass featuring leading specialists from around the world. Leonard and Madeline Abramson, Professor of Neurodegenerative Diseases and the Director of the Institute for Cell Engineering at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. So we published a paper with Ola Isaacson in Science Translational Medicine last year where we took skin fibroblasts from patients and converted them to inducible pluripotent stem cells and then took those stem cells and converted them to dopamine neurons and we found various mitochondrial defects in those stem cells that could be reversed with different drugs that could potentially um, eventually be used to treat patients with Parkinson's disease. I would say it's, most, it's very critical. Um, and, and, and this paper illustrated that point. If you treat patients late in the, their disease, you may not be able to um, provide a benefit in which we slow the disease down. But if we treat very early in the disease process, we might be able to slow the progression. So the, in summary, the, it's very important, the timing. Early is better, late is not as good. Um, there's an emerging idea in Parkinson's disease that there's a defect in mitochondrial quality control in which mitochondrial are degraded via mitophagy, they're transported, they undergo fission and fusion. My talk was on mitochondrial biogenesis in which new mitochondria are made. And my talk was about how two genes that are linked to Parkinson's disease, Parkin and PINK1, control mitochondrial biogenesis through this protein that we identified called Paris. We're trying to understand the molecular mechanism of how Paris regulates mitochondrial biogenesis. And then using that knowledge, we want to develop inhibitors that block the action of Paris because it inhibits mitochondrial biogenesis. Well, the conference is just beginning, but I saw a wonderful talk this morning by um, Thomas Sudoff, where he's um, investigating the basic mechanisms of synuclein function. And I was really fascinated by his talk on how synuclein regulates snare function. And part of that regulation is due to its all oligomeric state in which it binds to phospholipids. And, um, and I'm looking forward to many other great talks and um, new insights from this meeting.